Hi everyone, today Hi. we're going to talk about what we've been up to this week. Yeah, thought we'd chicken. Chicken, yep. Uh huh. What are we uh, doing? So let's talk about what we've been doing. Okay, so this week we have interviewed for a new designer because we're looking for a new web designer. Yep. Um, obviously we've been talking for a long time now about this new website that we're going to be creating and we um, have a few designs in the process, don't we? That yeah. we're looking at. Um, I guess with the interview process, one of the things that we did was um, we looked at our current website and we got mm. the people to go through and have a look and give us a, some feedback of what they would change yeah. to try and pick out their ideas and see you yeah. know, what they know. And yeah. also showed another design which we got done for our website that we were kind of iffy on mm -hmm. um, to see whether people picked up things like, oh, it looks like a template. And, yeah, also um, to our designer, I had a look at that website and she came up with a lot of points about it. Yes. So it's kind of interesting when we're interviewing new designers to see if they're coming up with the same or similar points. You know, the first thing she said is that it looked like a template, right? Yeah, and, um, and pointed out the saturation. and Yeah, like and bits and pieces like that because she's very precise. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's interesting to see what others come up with as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was our first interview and we gave um, him a little design test to do, which we just got back today. So we're going to take a look at that. We have another interview this afternoon and hopefully it's going to be another good one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the design test that we do, it's, it's kind of based on a course that we went on on UX design. Yeah. And it's basically designing a website, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's really just a quick test to see what their style is like. Mm, so it gives all of the um, the scope and everything of the site, so the name of the site, like a call to action button and everything like that of what we need. It's very basic and um, yeah, interesting to see, yeah, yeah, see what, what they come, come up, up with. with yeah. so. And we've been through it ourselves, we had to try and design one as well. Yeah, I loved it, it was so yeah. much fun. I just wanted to spend all day on it though, like, yeah. you know, can't do that. And you've been working on your drip? Yeah, I've been working on my drip. Um, for those of you who don't know what Drip is, it's a, what would you call it, like an email type campaign workflow? Yeah, and Drip campaigns are where you, you send out, based on certain things that might happen on the website, you can send out different email notifications, mm -hmm. um, and so you can create a whole workflow, yeah, and that's so, what we've been looking at. Yeah, there. that's what I've been creating. So for those of you who have signed up, and for those of you who are going to sign up after you watch this video. Um, you will receive an email from me that is welcome to Easy Peasy Forms and then you'll receive a few more. And then based on what you click on in those emails, it will subscribe you to a different campaign. You know, you might want to do our five day mini course, so it'll subscribe you to that campaign. And I just create a workflow in Drip that goes through and does all of that automatically. So I don't have to sit on my computer all day <laughs> seeing what you've clicked on yeah. and what I need to send you. So it's really good, really yeah. good. It does take time to set up. Um, you have to sort of really think about where you're going to put everything and what's not going to be yeah. too annoying. If it is too annoying, please let me know. Um, yeah, but it's really good. It's really fun. Yeah. It's really good working with the developers too to get them to, um, you know, create the tags or do the tags. Yeah, and so, easy peasy forms to drip. So they can call the API and set certain tags which will do certain things. Can't yeah, they? yeah. It yeah. gets quite I know what I want it to do and it gets quite techy and that's where you come yeah. in and take care of that. It's <laughs> good. So. And I've been up to I've talked to a guy from Data Daddy who uh, right. has another SAS application. Yeah. And um, he was giving me some tips and tricks of how they do their mm -hmm. sign up and conversion process. Yeah. Um, they use a product called Intercom which looks quite cool. Mm. Um, yeah, quite yeah, interesting just, just finding yeah. out from other people what they're doing. Yeah, he had some good ideas and good tips and things, didn't yeah, he? Yep. Yeah, he's another Kiwi dude. Yep, so. has a SaaS application that links into Xero and allows you to send out notifications if people haven't paid their bills on time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Cool, and you've done some testing. Yeah, done this quite week. a lot of testing this week. Yeah. We really want to get a new release out. Um, but we're just trying to fine tune everything and make sure that it's not going to break anything because we've done some quite big changes to the editor um, and we just want to make sure that they go well. Yeah, of course, yeah. like anything. Yeah. Cool, so that's us for the week. Yep. Um, thanks for watching, thanks yeah, for being thank interested. Um, like and subscribe to our channel.